It's a beautiful uptown Burbank. In the heat of the night, with the whole world on fire around us, as ash rains slowly down on all of our cars and into our hair, Harmon Town is in session. Let's bring out our beloved game master, Spencer Crittenden. And the mayor of Harmon Town, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Dan? Yeah, it's just in a bad mood. It's just gonna be a bad show. I just uh, aside from being hot and the world be becoming a horrible hellfire of crap, what's your problem? I don't know. I was I was in a good mood like like all week because I but it was kind of a I guess it was a thing because it was like you know there's a hurricane in Texas and there's a, I don't know if you guys heard about that. Have you guys heard of a hurricane in Texas? Uh, and uh, and Bangladesh too, like wait, right? Wait, is that, is that maybe getting uh, it, it, the you know? And so then you go like, okay, well, I have my health, I have my property. There's no alligators in my living room, like you. And you put you in a kind of a good mood. Like I was in a good mood, but I think that it's like an artificial good mood because it's derived from other people's misery. It's like you're, that that whole thing where you're like, well, I have my health, and I'm gonna live it each day like it's my last. Like I think that's like taking ecstasy. It like crashes because now I'm just <laughs> miserable. And, it, and it, I'm like, it, it was all triggered by me. It was all triggered by me losing my second pair of those fucking AirPods. <laughs> I lost the first pair, like, and then and I made Spencer go find me another pair. I think those things are like two hundred bucks. Is it, I got a pair I haven't used. They're still in the packaging. You want those? Oh, give this is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you, well, you don't want them or something? I don't know, no, normally I can see Spencer, but tonight like there's a different layout where I can't yeah. see Spencer through you. I assume they know what they're doing. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, they know. Well, you it's, don't want to talk to me? Spencer, are you farther upstage than normal? And aren't you more downstage normally? I'm hiding behind Dan. All right. I'm you've been doing that. Ugly. You, you've been doing that your whole career, Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, you've been, uh, your mom. <laughs> I've been my mom? Yeah. Oh, that explains so much. <laughs> um, man. Can, 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 I, can I start off the show with a little uh, interesting thing that I think is interesting? Maybe nobody else does? Sure. A guy that I kind of know is an actor who hangs out at the world-famous draw drawing room, uh, bar and grill, except for the grill part. <laughs> uh, I, he, uh, we were talking, and he goes, hey, uh, you, you like old movies? I go, yeah. And he goes, I, I'm friends uh, with some old movie people that we go on a walk every Saturday in Beverly Hills. They're, like, they're a little older. Old, you know, they're like in their 80s. And he goes, we go on a walk. Do you want to go have a walk? Uh, I, I walked in the park and spoke one-on-one -on -one with Ann Margaret today. What? Yeah. What? I was just watching her in Anthony Hopkins' Magic. Is that right? Yeah. I just saw her last, we just watched, Cody and I just watched Magic last night with Anthony yeah. Hopkins and Anne Margaret. I, I started the day walking around with her and she's adorable and she had, it was so cute because her glasses were, like she had these cool little framed like glasses, but they were on really crooked and I, it made, me, made it so good. <laughs> and, we, and we were just walking and, and they, they, there's this group of people that are like, like old like dancers and uh, show people and comedians. Um, and two people that weren't there that were supposed to be there, but they're, they're going to come another time. Are, um, Lenny and Squiggy. <laughs> Charlie uh, Brill and Mitzi McCall, who, who are a husband and wife uh, comedy team that were the, the act before the Beatles came out on the first Ed Sullivan show. Hmm. And the, 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 so, so it's this weird old world, but they didn't come today. I'm going to meet them because I can't wait. Um, but ju I just at one point am walking through a park in Beverly Hills, Holmby Park, and it's just, and I'm just like, so, and like, are you from here? Where are you from? She's like, I was born in Sweden. And she asked, like, do you still speak Swedish? And she just started talking in Swedish to me. I'm like, and Margaret's talking Swedish? Oh. It was the best. And we just sat down and she's the sweetest, nicest person. And we started talking. She's like, what, you, like, what shows do you got? Uh, what's funny on TV right now? So I started saying, well, my favorite thing is, is uh, Toast of London. And someone else in the group goes, oh, I love the IT crowd. I go, we just, I just met hmm. Graham Linehan. And, like, like, and then we all just sat there and watched, like on, like on phones, we just watched... 
like clips of Matt Berry doing Toast of London, and we're all dying laughing. Well, well, Burbank raged uh, <laughs> yes, uh, the well, fire yes, around yes. you, and yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Like Texas is underwater, and people. By the way, where were you guys last week? Like, do you love uh, 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 boxing that much? You drove toward a forest fire to get here tonight. There's. They probably the thought, packed. Last week there were eight people here. It was like, what? I didn't know you guys were such MMA fans. Like, uh, what's up? You want more shoe jokes? You want more shoe jokes? Oh, yeah, is that is that the sex right. the, the previous week? Because it was like, uh, oh, Dan overestimated the number of Nazis. Uh, so, <laughs> so then you guys didn't show up, and then uh, we we uh, we un unpacked the Schraub box again, and now now you're all back. Um, I, guess I, what? I asked him to come back, and he said, "Fuck you." Wait, I'm what? Your friend. You know, who, you know who else doesn't want to come back? Kumail. Why don't you suck his dick some more in the Reddit? Yeah, these people don't like you. I do, kind of. A little bit, if you like me. Counts for nothing. Solicited. Dan, I said I would give you my AirPods. I'm just, okay. I mean, it's just like, I obviously it wasn't a thing. Cody, Cody's got to be on the verge of breaking up with me because I just like, I, I was just like, oh, I, I was in a pleasant mood. I was learning about mind mapping software and my, my iPad. And, and I was like, oh, I'm going to listen to some tutorials. I don't want to wake up Cody. And I, I, I was like, oh, I lost the fucking AirPods again. Literally had them for, for one day because yeah. I lost the last pair. Every time you buy a pair of these things, you just feel like the dumbest shit face in the world because they suck. They're awful, dumb things. But I... Then I lost the first pair, and I was like, I miss them. I don't want to tangle the cords anymore. I was like, ah! Oh. It was like the, after the first time you fly first class, and then you try to fly coach, and you're like, my knees hurt. Uh, and I just like, and my fingernails are dirty again, and I just like, I don't understand. Why. I went to the dentist, and my teeth are, you know, decaying. There's no big surprise there. Like, like, like not, they're not that bad, actually. My family has very strong enamel, but... Uh, <laughs> But, but, you know, they're calling out the distance in millimeters between each tooth. And I got a couple fives in there, which means... Oh, five. Some, you know, five. That's, 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 that's gum trouble, baby. Four, four, five, something. You know, and a couple of them. I'm going to... Five I'm is gonna, way I the gotta fucking... Go, I got to get the deep laser cleaning. I got to, you know, and they're telling me... She pointed the thing. She said, like, look, the, 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 you know, it's like, I, there's, been some, there's been some damage here. There's some bone material. I'm like, well, I'm 44. And, 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 but, but I'm just like, but my fingernails are going to be there the day they bury me. Why do, why do your teeth fall out and rot? But your fucking dumbass fingernails, what are we, going to fight lions? What, what is the purpose of these? What is the point of these? They just, they, they, they get gross. You know, I, I, was, I was at Comic-Con one year, and I was like sad walking around, and some young lady was like, Dan Harmon, I'm a big fan, and I took a, she wanted to take a picture with me, and I, I took a picture, like got behind her, and kind of like had my hands on her shoulders, and, and then I, 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 I like saw her on in, saw her Instagram, like, you know, a week later, and, and, and it was like, me posing with her, and she was like, I met Dan Harmon at Comic-Con, hashtag dirty fingernails. And oh! I, and she was right. I like, Hannah, you know, that's gross, it's gross. You know, it makes me flash back to math class, uh, my third grade uh, uh, math class with uh, uh, Mrs. Jackson. I've, I've probably talked about her before. She, she, if you're nasty. She, 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 she called me up and gave me a brush and said, D Daniel, go wash your fingernails. Go! In the whole class. And wait, wait, were you, were, you out, were, you, were you changing somebody's oil? How, why, why were you? No, I'm Dan Harmon. I changed the, the world's oil. I, 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 think, <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't change my own oil, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't bathe. I, I don't clean myself enough. Ugh, I'm so sorry. You know, to take me to Golgotha. Oh, the dirty kid. Like, I'll show you all. But then I didn't show anybody. I'm, I'm, I just keep losing my AirPods. Like, what is, there's, there is no, there is no recourse to happiness. I spent 44 years like trying to secure, a, like, 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 like a place of power and comfort, and then fucking Nazis. Have it's you? It's like a joke. You have know? have like you looked a, for your AirPods in your whiskers? They might have just ca Captain Caveman inside there. You might have like a rake in there, or like some like lost keys. <laughs> my stomach hurts. I ate at that. Shithole over him. I guess I shouldn't mention it. Yeah, don't. <laughs> that unnamed no, no. shithole. I know, but because I, I, I know they got. What they, is the name yeah. of the, the, the people are With, fans of, the, of Rick and Morty? Well, no, they're, 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 I mean, everyone's a fan of Rick and Morty, so that could mean a lot of places and nothing specific. Yeah, no, I just. I just what, 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 what kind of cuisine was it? Like, don't say that. <laughs> Wait, 
It's so specific that we would know what it was. It was a country that speaks a language that we do. American? Well, yes. In a matter of speaking. Is it, is it a Burbank establishment? Yeah, it's that British place on Burbank. They just, it's just oh, like, yeah, it's yeah. Just, I tried. It's so gross. <laughs> I, there's always like... There's always, a, there's always like four old dudes. Uh, Bur Burbank is so fucked up, man. You got to, you got to drink it. Uh, the, the, day that, uh, the day that Obama was like giving his farewell speech, I was at a bar in Burbank, and, and these fucking old dudes were like muttering like the N word into their cocktails. Like, this place is, Burbank's fucked up, man. Yeah, man. And now it burst into flames. It just um, fucking couldn't take it. It was like, I can't, I, I, was, I, was, like, I, I was driving to Burbank and straight into fire, and I was like, same page club. I get you, Burbank. It's like, like Burbank's reflecting reality right now. Everyone else is just living a lie. I, I want to just, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to get my friend, the guy whose name is Pizza, and when I, I'm going to get this desert property. And I'm like, the thing, I just need to figure out how to desalinate water, right? Like I need to, or actually, and then also I need to bring an ocean to the desert. <laughs> I, I just want, don't you think there's a way to like, I guess the reason desert, Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, just go out. Like, you don't want to build a fence because then if he's, everyone's, every scavengers see a fence, then they'll, they'll go like, oh, there must be something on the other side of the fence. So right. Just like buy a random spot in the desert. Make it a and phone just booth. Keep it looking like regular random desert. And then like there's a spot where you like, you, you point a clicker and it goes, and there's like solar panels that no one can see from a distance. They're just like sea level solar panels. And you only expose them to, to charge your big battery underground, and then, and then you uh, you go down there, and there's like hydroponic soy, maybe. Yeah. A couple record albums. Yeah, and you could. Uh, you a couple could, record albums. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what are your what, what are your what are your desert not island record albums? You know, Genesis, Invisible Touch. Yeah. <laughs> what are your deserted isle hydroponic crops? Soy. Soy. Oh. <laughs> Fair. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Dan, you get to, you, in your desert uh, little commune, you get to you get two records. You, you, you chose those. Invis Ge well, Genesis Invisible Touch is one album. That's one. You, you get another one. You can choose that later. Uh, you get to choose one living person that we don't, like, like, that you've never met, and one dead person that you've never Spencer. met. Spencer. Yay. <laughs> You've never met Spencer? Yeah. Oh, you said, oh, I said sorry. So, so, so somebody you've never met that's alive. Okay. And then somebody you've never met that's dead to be part of your, uh, your desert hangout. Don the Dragon Wilson. He's a kickboxing <laughs> champion. Uh, <laughs> just for security. Yeah. <laughs> Although he's probably old now. So, okay, forget that. Sheamus, the WWE wrestler. Is that it? Sheamus? Colin McGregor? Oh, is that his real name? Oh no, that's right. No. Seamus is his wrestling name, oh, okay. and he's a he li he likes Rick and Morty, so he's got a big red beard, and uh, I figure he could probably yeah. So, kind of, Annie's mad you didn't pick her. She's walking out. I've met her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and there's a, there was a guy. How does she always get that seat? Does she get her that early? You know, you know Annie. I don't know. It, she's always fucking conning people. <laughs> Wait, did she say that? That was I her, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's not a joke other people can... You can't. Uh, all right, so, uh, uh, yeah, well, there was a guy FaceTiming. What is with the... I don't think anyone in this audience has ever done this. What is with the people who FaceTime in public? It just like and crank it up, and there was just a guy sitting at the bar, and there was just this this woman. It seemed like I I I made some assumptions. It seemed like she was like a mail order bride or something. Like she was like had a really thick accent, and he was just like staring at her. Like he he and, and, and she was just going like, "Okay, I love you, I love you." Like like she, and, and but he wasn't saying anything. He was just like staring at her. <laughs> It was weird. It was like, I don't know if she was checking in on him or him on her, but it was like w one of them thought the other one was like an animal that you just monitor, you know? It was just like, uh-huh, uh, okay, I love you. Don't drink too much. Uh. 
Like, like, what do you do? Why do you do? Why are you share? How boring does your life have to be if you're willing to like have a phone call in public and let everyone see? You're the person you're talking to. That's yeah, crazy. I, I was at, like sitting at the bar, like at, at the Delta Terminal, like flying out of LAX, and I was, you know, like, like, like an idiot. I bring a book to a bar, and I get mad when people are loud and and <laughs> are, aren't respecting my my library time. Uh, uh, it's 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 not it's not rational. But there was a girl next to me who was FaceTiming with her sister at the to- at top volume, and the sister was coming in through top volume. They were just the happiest sisters in the world. Like, oh no, you did not just talk about that. Oh yes, I did. Oh, if I could talk about. And, and, and I was like, we're both bad people. Like like I'm the guy that wants everyone to shut the fuck up. You're the person that wants everyone to never have a book ever. I feel like everyone else in the world is always just like, "Uh uh-huh, yeah, ah, ah," all over their phone. And then every once in a while, I'll, like, pick up as – and as I'm leaving the restaurant, like, it's a crying baby, you know, because I'm so concerned with what other people think. Like, I'll still, like, get some dirty look, and someone will go, like, could you take that outside? Where do you think I'm going? Why does this only happen to me? Why can't you take those people and put them in the same room as these people that I have to put up with? Why is it? Why does God hate me? Why does it? Like, why, why am I? I feel like I'm just like, like, like you know, the only person that's having a, a, a good life is, is Donald Trump, and, and, and like we're we're almost a year into like living in this shadow of this of this insane person. You know, it's almost been a fucking year. That means that you could spend a year just not doing anything. Like, you could just spend a year going like, I'm gonna learn French, or I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a birdhouse. Like, there's no bad way to spend a year. We just spent it fucking, like, d- d- raising an autistic president. Uh, I, I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry to my autistic fan base. That, that, I, I just mean, I don't mean, like, uh, he, he doesn't have the honor of being called autistic. I don't mean he has autistic traits. I just mean, like, he's, like, having, like, an autistic kid. Like, like a three-year-old. Why is that? Fuck you, people! Because Why don't you eat my fucking shit out of my ass? Like you? What, what you because you? What, if I get like, whoa, like, wait, you, you just, said just not woke the... up to controversy. I, just, I already said autistic and apologized for it and moved on. Not the not the accurate physiological part of the autism, just the annoying offensive part of the autistic. <laughs> That's the kind of autistic he is. I think that's what I'm talking about. I, so I'm saying, like, if you talk I, to parents that have autistic children, they may love them or hate them, but it's, t- it's hard to raise them. They, they acknowledge that. It's a challenge. They're not like, this is a snap. None of them. I think your mustache and whiskers are doing most of the driving right now. I think it's changed. I, th- I think it's liberated a part of you that maybe shouldn't have been liberated or maybe should have been. I don't, I mean, do we, are we really policing each other for offensiveness anymore? There's a rapist in the White House. He's a Nazi. He, what, go talk to him. I mean, he, he, I'm a saint. <laughs> Stop yelling at each other about hurting your feelings. Just because there's a fucking dude that doesn't give a fuck sitting on the throne of King's Landing, eating babies <laughs> that you can't talk to that you can't wag your finger at, that has no shame. Stop t- taking it out on each other. Did you it's just fucking come... insane how fucking heightenedly, I-, I thought we would relax, I thought the one good thing would be, oh, we elected a rapist Nazi. Looks like political correctness is gonna t- t- shift into neutral. No, no, not at all. No, quite the opposite. Let's all start infighting about pronouns and fucking g- gender fluidity more than ever. Microaggressions just became nanoaggressions. I, I, like, 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 hi, Jane. How are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for coming, our friend Jane. Yes. Uh, always a micro pleasure. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, well, I just, let's let's make sure that we recognize that you just compared children with autism to Nazi rapists. <laughs> you equated them a little bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe by some like transitive property of math that I. <laughs> That I don't un- even understand. Like I got a thirty percent of my uh, my uh, ACTs. This is the Midwestern equivalent of the SATs. Math. I'm like I'm like I'm like dumber than normal people in math. Isn't that crazy? Given how smart I am about, you know, in other areas. I just get such a big kick out of that. I'm so stupid sometimes in some ways. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Anyways, so can we talk about, wait, let me, I want to make sure. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, what's with the new? Okay. So, like, you guys ever like, you take a rideshare service? Like, and I guess I'm gonna expose myself as like, yeah, I have lapsed back into Ubers. Well, why'd because that happen? Did you try Lyft and not like it? Yeah, I like to charge my phone. Hmm. L- Lyfts, you can charge your phone. No. How many lifts did you take to, to prove that? I don't know, like four or five. There had to be some reason. I don't know. I think a lot of Lyft drivers have little phone chargers in there. There was a guy who made me take my foot off his seat, like, which I thought was so weird because it was a Lyft and not an Uber. It was like a fucking Acura or something. And he was like, could you put, lower your foot from my seat? And I was like... What was your, f- your foot was like you were crossing your leg and it was touching the back? I like to sit back. on my foot, you know, like kind of sometimes. Isn't that really uncomfortable? No, I mean, oh, I think okay. it's just, I think I'm compensating maybe for like 40 years of a wallet. I don't know. I don't know why it is. So I like to tuck my little footsie underneath one of my butt cheeks sometimes. And you said get your, get your street pavement foot off of my ankle. Anyways, I'm sorry. Sorry I, ta- sorry I take Ubers sometimes. But, but uh, the, 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 there's this thing where they'll, they'll drop you off and then they'll give you a business card and they'll try to like indoctrinate you into their own like private business like they're, they're, they're like oh take my card so like if you want to if you want to get a ride from me again don't use the service that arranges everything like take my business card and like call me on a regular phone and like, like what what do they th- how is that going to take off i've never experienced that. you don't that, it seems like everyone's doing that now they drop you off and then they go by the way here take my card when you, if you want to get picked up, like take my card. Like, why would I? Twi- there's an app that, and so, and I, and I was like, like, well, I'm gonna make this guy's day. I, he dropped me off at the at the shitty uh, 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 British restaurant here in Burbank, and, uh, <laughs> and 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 he was like, hey, remember me? I was that guy that gave you that card. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Do you have another card? Because this time actually, this might work. Because. I'm going to eat here, and then I'm going to just be driving a couple of blocks over to the Starburns Castle, and he's like, oh, that, 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 no, that makes no sense for me. <laughs> I, well, yeah, okay, so it's based on logic? Then don't give me a business card when I've met you through a hologram. Well, see, don't, don't ever give anybody a business card. I've never, ever used one. The, the, it's, it's basically just things to go in, in my trash can. Yeah. I don't call them. I've never needed one. I've never wanted one. They have a whole culture based on them in uh, Japan, you know. Is that right? Or maybe not still. I don't know. <laughs> the whole culture is based on business cards? Well, no, I'm just saying, like, they have a whole, like, like you know, that was, like, 90s Japan, at least. Yeah. When I was learning Japanese in Marquette University, they were explaining the whole business card. You studied Japanese in Marquette? For, like, a semester. <laughs> Ni- Nihongo Chotto Henashimasu. <laughs> Can anybody verify or do it? Uh, oh, yeah? All right, well, our, yeah. well, there's a lot of white Japanese people here. I think we got a lot of anime fans in our. <laughs> uh, what, what did you say, just, just for my own curiosity? I speak a little Japanese, which is not true. But I can only say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's technically true. Biru o nomi mashoka? Uh, should we drink beer? Remember that one, too? How do you say yes? Uh, hi. I never, I, I thought I knew everything about you. I didn't know that you studied Japanese. What, what, what was the end game on that one? I just, I, I dropped out of uh, my freshman year of college because I was just like, I was cutting classes and I just, yeah, it was just sad. I remember, like, there was some exam, and I, like, I was, like, a baby. Like, I, like, pretended my mom was sick or something. I was like, you're an adult. Like, just, just fucking leave college. Like, what are you, what are you trying to, like, make excuses? No, but you chose Japanese because you wanted to learn Japanese, or you were going to, like, yeah, become just, a translator? Or? I think at the time I thought maybe I should, I should learn how to sell my dad's company. Like, at the time, the Japanese were, like, the Chinese of the time, you know? They, they were, like, the big financial <laughs> thing. All the Time magazine covers were, like... You know, had like a, a like a geisha woman with a microchip and a suitcase. You know, on the cover, of like the new threat. <laughs> Land of the rising Nasdaq. I, I like Grumpy Dan. You're, you're, I, I like you when you're a little surly. I hate society. 
hate every single human being. Like, human, no matter how cool you think you are right now, I fucking hate you. And I'm, si I'm, si I'm sick of, I'm sick of hearing, I'm sick of just, like, the press, like, vilifying Antifa. Like, I don't, I don't have to suck their dicks or anything, but it's like, there's a couple of kids out there that are, like, willing to be bullies back towards Nazis. If we didn't have them, we wouldn't have anybody that was scaring Nazis. And I was like, like give them, cut them some slack. They're anarchists, you know? I, you know, I had, when I was younger, I had these uh, foreign exchange students, and one of them was, his dad was, like, from Basque Country, and he was, uh apparently like a freedom fighter against like Spain or some shit. And the other guy was a Russian and he was part of an anti-Nazi gang that would beat the shit out of neo-Nazis. And it was when I was a, a, a young boy and I remember I told this to everyone I came across and everyone thought it was really badass. What changed? <laughs> It's, it's just cowardice, man. It's, it's, it's like, okay, I'm sorry there's an extreme form of being afraid of Nazis. Like, it doesn't mean, it's like, this advocacy for just complacency just fucking pisses me off. It's like, like, like you're not going to accomplish, I'm so sick of it. It's like, because like, people act like it's based on logic or something. And it's not, it's just, just fucking, I'm not a, I'm not a hero either. But, like, stop, stop dressing up your fucking regular ass yellow belly with, like, a Spock face. You know, like, hmm, <laughs> well, it wouldn't really make sense. To nothing fucking makes sense it doesn't make sense nothing it's it's fucking it's not politics it's not debate it's not it's fucking like the, it's 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 like it's 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 fucking scary it's like, you know how all 20 year olds are dumbasses don't you want some dumbasses to be not nazis like I, like it's it's kind of easy to be a nazi when you're a dumbass we should thank christ some people who still want to fucking scrap it up actually have the balls to be like plus i don't want to be a nazi thank god <laughs> Thank you, kids. Like, like, I really appreciate it because I'm fucking old. My back hurts. I can't. I can't. If I throw a rock, I'm gonna. Th I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be in a hospital for a week. People's parents will be suing me. I. I you know, I gotta just sit in my house and pff, take shits and, and 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 you know, I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm targeting sixty, and then I'm just gonna fucking kill myself if I'm not dead. And, and but like, so just. Just like, just, just, just. You're gonna be one of those people that starts saying, I'm gonna kill myself in their 40s, and you're gonna end up being 80, and we're all gonna say, fucking didn't do it. <laughs> Are you encouraging Dan to kill himself? You're gonna be like Dorothy Parker. Oh, yeah, really? 83 year old Dorothy Parker? I can, uh, talked a lot of shit back in your 40s about killing yourself. Well, also, if you're 16 and you're listening, don't take that again. It's like you're having a, you're having a, b a bad day like I am. I Especially guess. if you're one of those autistic Nazi rapists out there. <laughs> No, no. If Don't kill yourself. If you're depressed, this too shall pass. It's a serious issue. You know, a lot of kids write me on my Tumblr. Uh, yeah. You know, Dan's like, depression is mostly uh, ear pod based. Like, if anything, kids, if you're depressed right now, you know, like, like, just think about it this way. Like, I'm confirming for you at 44 that like there are bouts of. Of, of feelings, and I know you don't want to be talked out of how you feel, but I'm just saying, like, this too shall pass. Like, it's like, your moods do control, they're like very real, your feelings are real, they're just not reflective of reality, you know what I mean? Like, your feelings should be very respected and taken seriously, but then there, the, you don't have to like, you can, you can acknowledge that you feel really, really sad, and that could be the most important thing going on in your life. You, you don't have to then connect that to reality by saying like therefore i'm going to do this or that which you know do as i say not as i do all right but you know if you're young i'm saying you're, you know you're just you just stick it out i promise it'll be it'll, it'll it's gonna be great fucking uh <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that's no no it's not gonna be great i i, I i'm not i know that's not the reason to not kill yourself it's a, life is a fucking shit sandwich it's gonna it's not gonna end up delicious but just like eat it and uh because I'm telling you. No, no I'm going to kill myself. You fucking. <laughs> just, 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 just. Uh, I'm telling you, I'll be in a, I'll be in a better mood again next week, and then we'll have fun together eating the shit sandwich. Like, like, like the fire will have moved down here. We'll roast some marshmallows. Do you want to go? Our friends from Texas will now be refugees. That'll be an ironic twist. Dan, do you? Do you would it cheer you up if, 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 if maybe you could go uh, have a walk in the park with Aunt Margaret at some point? Sure. Yeah, I can. T yeah, I mean, uh, like. Boy, that magic movie, you gotta watch, magic, it's, the movie's called Magic, it's uh, uh, Anthony Hopkins is a, 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 a magician and uh, 
he uh, becomes a ventriloquist, and he's a he's a wonderful ventriloquist. <laughs> the, he's crazy, or the or the doll's real. And then like the movie's all over, and Cody goes like, "Wait, I don't understand. Aren't ventriloquist comedians? They're not magicians." I'm like, "Yeah, that's what this. Is there something off about this movie the whole time? I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Wait, why was he a magician?" And then he like picked up a dummy and was like, "I'll try this magic trick." That's not the category that ventriloquist. It's a co- it's a comedy act that people were. Uh, uh, that, that movie's weird, man. It's actually it is worth watching though. Like Anthony, have Hopkins. you seen Viva Las Vegas? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, that movie with Elvis. That movie's pretty insane because there's a big car race at the end, and then people die. There's a, there's a big car wreck, but it's this open, like old school hot rod like race cars where there's no cockpit. You're just a dude with a helmet sticking out the top, and when you flip over, your head comes off, and it's pretty bad. A lot of people s- seem to crash and burn and die. And then it cuts straight to Elvis and Anna Margaret just, Hey, Viva Las Vegas. The end. Credits. That's, that, that's it. There's no fucking, there's no requiem for all the fucking people that just got murdered. Oh, and and they, they don't waste a, a moment of sadness before they start dancing. And that would be amazing if, like, they started dancing and instead of going to the credits, it just, like, slowed down and faded to, like, grayscale and then said, like, to, like it had a dates and stuff. <laughs> All the drivers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dale, Dale Earnhardt, uh, and it was Dale Earnhardt. Junior. Senior, senior. And then the way Senior uh, passed away is they were in the same race, and he was, like, boxing out his son. His son was in the lead or, like, in second place, and his dad was behind him, and he was, like, b- b- boxing out competitors. Is that like true? Pr- protecting his son, you know, giving his son some space to, to – and, and then he fucking flipped out and got killed and – I don't and it, really. It, and then his, his son didn't win. <laughs> but he had an excuse. Like if anybody was yeah. like, "You didn't win," he's like, "My dad died." <laughs> yeah. So Wait, you could Dale win. Jr. was in the race when his father died. I thought. Yeah. I don't well, think so. That's what Mike Waldron told me. Take it up with him. Now, who told you that? Mike Waldron from Atlanta. Oh. I thought you said my brother, and I was like, <laughs> what? No. No, I what think just, just, just Dale Sr. went into a wall, and, did his, and he broke his neck, and that was that. I don't think Junior was in the race. Well, I don't think he was. Well, okay. Well, you know, I don't want to fucking argue Is Waldron here? I mean, does, does it, any of our Japanese people know how about NASCAR as well? <laughs> <laughs> huh? He was in the race. He was in the race. Holy shit. That's fucked up. The way you emphasized was made it seem like you you were bursting at the seams to say, but everything else Dan's saying is, is bullshit. Like, he was in the race. He's backing you up, man. Give him no, I'm not cut. sure he is. <laughs> it's kind of a half backup. You, like a, it's like a Dale I Earnhardt think, senior backup. We, like we, we got to get this mustache got, off of yeah, your face, no, man. I know. I've been, this, we got to get rid of this. That's I've been thinking that this whole time. It's the mustache. The, mu- it's a, I, I, I the mustache, yeah. The mustache is fucking. You, you Here's look, the thing. I just found out I can't get rid of it. I got I got to grow my beard around it. Because they might need me to come back any minute. I'm like a fireman. I'm like on a hold. Oh boy. I I I, I got to grow my beard around it. How's well, that gonna work? Isn't the mustache gonna always be ahead of the beard? Now can I? I'm gonna look like a like a schnauzer. <laughs> Or a terrier, or so I don't know which dog I'm thinking a, of. Like a, a Scottish terrier, like a Scottish kind of. Terrier. Yeah, you're kind of a Scotty. You look like a Scottish terrier. Now, can you can you bark like a Scottish dog? Like a, how would a Scottish dog bark? <laughs> like bark with a Scottish accent. <laughs> oh. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. Can, can I take a this little? This room's attempt to put me in a good mood is pathetic. <laughs> Everything you've tried is. Like, Can I put myself sucks. in a good mood? Because, well, yeah, I, I was in a kind of a shit mood too. I was being grouchy today as well. Uh, but I want to talk about your shirt just for a moment because oh, yeah. Dan, Dan's shirt has a picture of Dorothy Zbornak and Blanche. What's her last name? Devereaux. Devereaux. No, not Dubois. That's a different thing. <laughs> I almost said Dubois too, though. It's kind of uh, from simple. Golden Girls, and it says Dorothy in the streets. Blanche in the sheets. Now, I think we know where, where, where we're coming from, but how are you going to fucking be a tough guy in a bad mood with that shirt on? These are what kids are wearing. I was in a store on Vermont and when I was in a good mood, when I was like, hey, I don't have cancer. Kids that, that not... are fans of the Golden Girls? Uh, yeah, there's like, a, like, like you go into one of those like stores for kids with all the shirts with the, 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 the sexy kids wear, and there's like a million, uh, not, not, not like, not like... <laughs> Not like Gap Kids. <laughs> what are your... Um, you got one of those places where the sexy kids hang out, like 
Ch- Choice R Us kids yeah. or no. the library. No, yeah. I mean like playgrounds. I mean legally vo- voting age sexy kids. Uh, <laughs> They're, they're, they're like, they're with the shirts are hanging everywhere, and there's a lot of Golden Girls shirts. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to think that it's like a, a, a fad with a reason, because it's like people maybe, because I was watching, I watched a couple episodes of Golden Girls, and we all know our friend Mitch Hurwitz wrote on that show. That was one of his first jobs. Oh, uh, and that writing staff was like, I, there was other, that was like the Dana Carvey show of its time. Like everybody that wrote on the Golden Girls like went on to be a comedy pioneer, I think. I can't remember any other names, so I guess they didn't pioneer shit. <laughs> Uh, but Tom Tom Whedon is Josh Whedon's, Whedon's dad. dad. He worked on Golden Girls. All right. Shit. Bring the Whedons into it. Why don't you? That's not. There's there's no there's no highway cones there that I can fuck up. Uh, you hear about what happened to that guy? Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to talk about it at length? <laughs> Um, wait, who's it? Wait, is it, is it tech, Cody's texting me. That might be. It might be. Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. We, Matt. We, Matt. We, Matt Weiner. Um, uh, oh yeah. Uh, worked on Golden Girls. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, anyways, okay. I lost my lost my place. All right. So thanks, Cody. All right. Wait. So what was I? What was I just talking about? Golden Girls. No. No. That it's was sexy just, kids. You're talking about. <laughs> Uh, you were talking about your love of sexy children. All right. Well, have you heard this thing where you're supposed to sneeze into your arm? Like, didn't Obama yeah. do a PSA? You're like, supposed you're to supposed dab, dab, destroy all bacteria. <laughs> I don't know why that got an applause, and I'm ashamed of this planet. Please tell me you made that up, Spencer. No. Okay. I saw it on a school sign. You dabbing can take a flying fuck, right? I yeah. Mean, what is what it's is dumb. that? I know, I know it's. I know you're trolling me, but I'm supposed to go. What's with this dabbing? But right. fuck you for, and then fuck you. <laughs> like I will say, what's with this dabbing? And I'm still smarter than but you. But then you got that. You got that marijuana dab, and Spencer, what's a, what's a, what's a marijuana dab all about? That's that's when you take like a lump of of hash oil and you vaporize it and and take a hit off of that. Yeah. You got some fans of that in the audience. So I also, just, sand dabs are a kind of uh, Pacific Ocean fish. Yeah, right. those are gross. <laughs> right, uh, uh, what yeah. Is, yeah. What sand those, dab. What are those things called? Those, sand uh, dab. Those fucking, uh, those, those chunky flavorless things that you get in a seafood. Uh, what are those things called? The, t- not tofu. Uh, Wait, start again? They're like, they, they they're like uh, scallops. Scallops. Fuck scallops. You don't like scallops? Fuck Whoa. Scallops are Whoa, nature's Dan, chicken Dan, nuggets. Dan. They're so good. Scallops. Fuck scallops. You know what? What's your beef with scallops? And fuck senior citizens. No, I'm kidding. I, yeah. I, 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 you I, got I, me I, back. I, I tried sneezing into my arm fold today. And what I happened? Like, okay, I get it. I, I understand the general concept is that now my hands don't have sneeze on them. Yeah. But guess what does? The entire restaurant. Like, I'm going like that. What do you do? I put my face in my arm and sneezed, and the sneeze just went everywhere. Yeah, it's hard to get your... It's stupid. I hate it. I hate don't everyone. Don't sneeze. Just stifle it. Make it go inside of your head like I do. <laughs> the bonus is you might get an aneurysm. Can we talk about... Uh, can we talk about Angry Birds ripoffs? Oh yeah! Oh man, play hit the theme song. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I, 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 Angry I, I, Birds. Oh. A- Angry Birds ripoffs? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you want some music for this? Yeah, oh, this did. is. A- games called Angry Birds and there's also 20 games that try to trick you into thinking they're Angry Birds games. Um, well, let, let's, let's try that theme song again but now sing the whole thing. Shit. We did it. Uh, no, that's not the right one. Fuck it. Angry Birds was a game where you fling a bird into some blocks and knock them over. All right. So, so there's like how, 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 how real quick how would a different Scottish dog bark like, like, like there's two Scottish dogs and one goes roof and how, 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 what's the like what is this other Scottish Earth. <laughs> stop trying to cheer me up I, 
Dan, it, you don't pretend to be grumpy when you're that delightful. Society's a lie. You're being delightful. The anarchists were right the whole time. Like, <laughs> fucking, I'm going to get an Antifa tattoo and then ask them what they are. Just like people do with, like, Pickle Rick and stuff. I'm just going to get a tattoo of Antifa and then take it to a convention and go, look. Uh, I have no problem. If you have a tattoo, I, don't, I have no problems with people that get tattoos and stuff. I used when, when I was in my 20s, I would be like, oh, what are you doing that for? I, I explained that last week. I've, I've come around on you kids. You're great. You, you should fucking, you should, you should, you should fucking attach a third arm to your chest. Like, it's a fucking world's ending, man. Just don't hurt anybody else or yourself. Like, make sure that was a consensual arm that you got. That, that arm. Yeah, get it from like a store or something. <laughs> Don't get it from, like, your parents. Um, I mean, get two from your parents if you can. That's privilege. Get a third one from maybe a, a you know, I don't know, some kind of stem cell. So, okay, so, so there's this game. So there's Angry Birds, there's Angry Birds 2, there's Star Wars Angry Birds, there's Star Wars Angry Birds 2, there's Angry Birds uh, Transformers. 3s, there's Angry Birds Transformers. These are all Angry Birds. Hey, you made a game. It's very successful. Keep making the, build your empire. I have no beef with capitalism. Um, <laughs> the, 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 but but this, this guy, I can't, I'm, I can't pronounce his name. Check. Chala, if you go to the App Store and type in Angry Birds and start scrolling down, you will soon come to a sea of con artistry from a, a someone named Chala Pop Kajan Kakachitiki. <laughs> that better be right. His games include Bomber Birds, Angry Land, <laughs> Hockey Birds, The Angry Sports Tournament. Racing birds, real road car angry driver. <laughs> These are all the same guy. Are they are they good games? Are they, are they, I'm not going to download them. There's, a, there's, a, there's one. I, I looked at the reviews of the la, of when I get to the last one. I'll read one review. <laughs> Ninja birds, the angry dungeon. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. Jewel birds, angry blast dungeon. Warrior Birds, the Destroy Angry Soldiers. <laughs> Dan, are you reading these wrong? No, this is, it's just, it's, it's just a, how, how, uh, Fisher Birds, Feeding in Angry Aquatic. <laughs> birds and Blocks, too. That's not him, that's, uh, <laughs> this is just a person doing an angry bird, it's just Birds and Blocks, too, and they're not angry, they, they, they're like regular birds, they're like placid, but they're shaped exactly yeah. like angry birds, they're just not angry. It's called Birds and Blocks 2. Magic Birds, Marvelous Angry Territory Pop. <laughs> and of course, the best of them all, the one with a title that doesn't even fit in the App Store. I can't, you, there's nowhere you can get the full title. Even if you click on it, it doesn't expand enough for you to ever see the end of the title. Angry Ninja Paratrooper Pilot versus Birds Free Game, colon, Zero Injustice 2. <laughs> These are all programmed games that you could potentially buy or Yeah, and this guy did. There's one review of that one and it, it says and the guy says the, the head, headline of the review is they tried and uh, <laughs> and his review is his review is I downloaded this app as a joke and uh, three stars. <laughs> That's not bad. I just think, I mean, that guy should be ashamed of himself, right? Chalet Pop? Yeah, Chalet Pop. Chalet yeah. Pop, uh, Manchichi, it's what was his name? It's a great name. It's like Montachai Tiki. <laughs> There's one fly in this fucking I know, this episode but... is like, it's the fly yeah. of be Breaking Bad. But us. Time in public. Why do I care? What do you, okay, so what do you guys, where do you guys stand in this? Okay, so, so, like, if you're... If you're on a freeway and you're in a car, as, you, as I hope you are, <laughs> or you're Martin Lawrence, the, 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 
the, the, it's, it's, <laughs> if, if someone is pulling up next to you, if someone, you know, if there's a person is a stranger in another car, I think you, you, you can visualize this. Do you, so, so there are some people that you, you, you're like, I'll, you, you'll pick your nose freely because you'll, and your justification for it is logical, which is that you're never going to see that person again. Right, fuck right? them. But I, I just not, I, I want to be one of those people that's like, well, I'm never, I don't care. I'm never going to see that person again. I'm going to pick my nose. But I, I only punish the people that are, are, that are my friends, you know? Like, I only, I'm only, like, gross in front of them. And, like, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, I, right. it's like, like, I care so much what strangers think of me. And it's, like, another reason to just hate myself. It's fucking stupid, you know? Why do we care what strangers think, but we don't, we, we like, we, 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 we people, uh, become friends with us, and then we're like, oh, fuck this guy. Like, I'll fart. <laughs> we should be like, thank you so much for being my friend. I'm, I, I, I'm going to go in the other room and pick my nose now, and then in front of a stranger. And if the person's like, hey, you're picking my nose, in, you're picking your nose in fr front of me, you'd be like, yeah, well, make friends with me, you dickbag. <laughs> Maybe I'll treat you with some respect. Give me a chance, stranger. There's, there's a story, uh, I'll get it all wrong, but it was like, James Cagney and Humphrey Bogart were both up for the same role, and there was some kind of studio dispute on it, and there was having some kind of rivalry about who was the biggest star, and I, I don't want to take that guy's role if he already passed on it because it lowers my fucking status or whatever the fuck. But apparently Humphrey Bogart saw James Cagney like driving down the street in Hollywood picking his nose in, his, in the back of his limousine, and I, it, it's either Cagney sent a poem to Bogart or vice versa. I think Bogart wrote a poem and sent it to Cagney about how... Uh, uh, famous people shouldn't pick their noses. And like, <laughs> like he fucking nose pick shamed him in a poem and sent it to him. Like roses are red, violets are blue. Well, so like, uh, you people like, your nose like, you. like famous people. <laughs> you dirty rat. F famous people. Famous people and like driving in famous places shouldn't go around picking their famous faces. Like something like that. Like he like, like I saw you picking your nose, motherfucker. <laughs> something like that. Look it up. TCM. Fridays. Fly is gonna get it. It's just, it's just on your face. Remember that fly that landed on the guy's face in Indiana Jones, and he just crawled in his mouth and he ate it. You know they had to, they had to, they had to dribble uh, an invisible trail of fly food uh, up his chin to get that shot. It took three days, four hundred takes, and how seven thousand flies. How good is your fucking prop department when they know where to get invisible fly food? Yeah, they got everything. Um, so, anyways, I, I was in a, I was in a, I was in a, another car uh, with an unnamed sh rideshare service. Top five Dan Harmon car stories. <laughs> and the guy said, "What do you you know? What do you want to listen to?" I said, "Whatever you want to listen to." And he's like, "Okay." And he cranks this dating tips for Christian men show, <laughs> which I didn't even know existed. It doesn't even make any sense to me. It was just, and it was like this, it was this white guy, like on the radio going like, like talking to another guy and just being like, yeah, you gotta, here's the thing, man. You know, like, believe me, women are hungry for good men. <laughs> like, there, ask any woman. They, I, I don't, I can't tell you how many times, bro, that I've, I've heard a woman say, where are all the good men? Well, guess what? You put your faith in Jesus Christ, you're gonna be a good man. And it's your market, bro. And it's like, you know, you gotta say, you gotta, you need a real man as a mentor. Jesus Christ was a real man. Like, it was so weird, it was such a weird mix of red pill and Christianity. <laughs> Like, he, he, like he, he, didn't, he didn't say, like, like, Jesus smashed puss, but it's like, that's, yeah. what it, that, that's what he was implying. Like, Jesus will help you smash puss. Like, he like, said, he said, be a fisher of puss. He said, he said I, I, I hashtagged my, when I Instagrammed about it, I said, I follow me and I will make you crushers of puss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, but I, I was like, I felt like it was like a game of chicken. I couldn't tell if he was really Christian or if he was trying to be like, don't be lazy when I ask you what you want to hear. And so I was like, I'm going to fucking be Christian now and crush Christian puss. Like, I'm going to just be like, hmm, this is great, just to punish him. Like, let's see how long he can sweat it out. <laughs> so we just both, like, a game of radio chicken. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, how long's your ride? Yeah, listen to this for 10 minutes, you piece of shit. The guy said, you got to work on your inner game. That's true. Well, don't we all? Yeah. 
You would think a you would think a, at least a Christian guy would be like, what, what can we drop the game part? Like, what, it's not a game. If you're you figured out you're Christian, but it's still well, you got to play those ladies, man. You got to fucking tr trick them into fucking you. <laughs> still, you're you're you've accepted the Lord Christ into your heart. You've like answered the door on which He knocks, and you've heard the good news, and you're like washed in the Lamb of the Savior's blood. But you just still fuck women. Like just fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> That's Satan. That fly is actually the devil. That fly is on your ass. His, I, 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 should, I would serve that fly right if I let it land and take a big drink of my fucking pores. I'm going to watch that thing fall down and just crawl away. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Wait, it kind of took a dive. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it land right on my face. I'm not gonna freak out if it lands on my face. It's right. It's on your shirt. It's on. It's almost blanched on the sheets. Sheets. It's right in your tum tum. It's right in your tummy. It's going down your dick. It's on your dick. Oh no. On your dick. On your dick. Oh no. Fly your dick. Please tell me you got it. It's on his leg now. Oh my god. The fly was on your on your dick. It's on the floor. One fly. Sneezing into your arm is bullshit. Burbank's on fire. Can't live in the desert because there's no water. Angry birds rip offs. FaceTiming in public. Perception of strangers. Private chauffeur business cards. Uh, one guy, this guy, the Christian dating guy, when he dropped me off, he gave me a business card. And he said, I do everything from uh, limo rides to private jets. Private jet. <laughs> dating tips for Christian men. Uh, I quit Twitter for a while. I'm feeling good about that. But the mustache obviously has got me like, you know, it's like a, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's happening to me. Well, you I'm, say you, you, the mustache brought you back into Twitter? <laughs> no, I mean the mustache is making me as angry as I was when I was on Twitter, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's happened under me. Maybe mustaches is what people did before Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I think He flew private jets? Yeah, I don't, it's like... Und like overqualified. Why is he driving you around? Yeah, and his, his, his car didn't even have a, ch a charging port. Spencer, <laughs> Spencer, sounds to me well, like that's you like an airplane. Spencer, sounds to me like you got to work on your inner game, bro. Yeah, man, I'm always working on my inner game. <laughs> it turns out that we're all light. Well, that's, that's a throwback. And if you're dirty inside, then it looks, you know, bad. It's like dirty light. Uh, Jesus, why was there only one pair of uh, footprints there? That's when I was wingman in you. <laughs> But shouldn't there have been a, like a, a woman there with me? <laughs> shouldn't there shouldn't there have been th three three pairs or at least two pairs of footprints there? I was carrying her. That's Whoa! That's Whoa! Not cool, man. I was flying and carrying her. I'm the best wingman ever. Why don't you? Uh, sounds like you're, you're uh, an abductor. <laughs> a, an alien abductor. Uh, Fucking fly! I can't now. I can't tell the difference between flies and sweat drips. So I just, I, for all I know, there's just flies all over me. There he is. There he is. There's the little fucker. This is the show. Eat it. Eat this fucker. Uh, I have Godfather two questions. Lay them on me. You know, people act like this is the best movie ever. I. I, 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 okay, so all right, so remember Godfather Two. You get a little backstory. Ro uh, Robert De Niro plays uh, uh, the Godfather in his youth, and you get to see him become a go from a regular father to a Godfather. And uh, <laughs> and the way he does it is, uh, see, this is why you're not Godfathers, because uh, here's what here's what here's what Vito Corleone does. I'm gonna get you. You gotta go in from back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You gotta work on your fly game. <laughs> He's gonna... For five dollars a month, you can watch Dan be tormented by a fly. <laughs> yeah, that's this episode. It's Isn't great. there a room full of juju beads over there? And, uh, is it juju bees or juju? I'm, I'm getting no love from this fly. It's on you. That's a good point. If we pour soda on the ground, maybe it'll distract him. Everybody pour soda on the ground. <laughs> or just take a shit. I should just poop. 
Isn't it? That, that's kind of, you know, I mean, it's kinda, I'm sure a lot of stand-ups talk about this, but, you know, you're walking by a pile of shit and the flies are on it, and then you, like, you get too close to the shit and the flies are like, whoa! Like, they, they, they fly away. Like, <laughs> like, they're, like they're embarrassed? Well, no, like, they're like, they're, they're, they're like, look out! Someone's coming to, to nothing, man. It's, you're fine. They keep eating shit. I, I was not going I to do anything I think it's just shame. They're like, oh, man, I don't I mean, I like shit, but I don't, I don't want everyone to know it. No. They, they, these, these are humans. They, they have newspapers and internet and shit. They're going to be telling everybody I'm fucking like a shit lover. So Vito Corleone, the godfather, mm -hmm. uh, he's just a regular guy. He's uh, emigrated to uh, America from Italy where he was uh, persecuted as a child. And he's like grown up on the, he's in Italy. And uh, he's an adult now. And... Uh, and then, and then it's like, uh, oh, there's this guy, and he's like the mafia king of the neighborhood, and he's like, no, everybody, give me some of the, your, let me wet my beak, and um, and then uh, uh, Vito Corleone's like, what's with that guy? And then his friends are like, dude, you don't fuck with that guy. That guy is, he owns everything. This is his neighborhood. You can't fuck with that guy. Like it's it's crazy. Like he's. He's got the, the he's the he's the, the the in charge of like, like, like there's a guy above him that's a he's the black hand he's the mafia you can't fuck with that guy and Vito Corleone is like huh wow that's tough like I I, I, I wish there was some way to do this to, to you know like a, it's like you gotta give this guy all your money and it's not like, so then he and then he 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 just shoots him <laughs> and then it's just like that's it that he just takes over. Like, I don't think that's, a, I mean, what, there's no, what, you just, you just shoot the guy? No one thought of that? That's what it takes to be a godfather? It must be nice, you know? It's like rap in the 80s, you could just fucking, ha, 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 <laughs> You know, like, you could just, like, you'd be a mafia guy by just killing one guy every 30 years. Yeah, but then you gotta be good at not being killed. You gotta, you gotta be the guy that doesn't get killed that easy. Yeah, why didn't the first guy think of that though? Like, he would, this guy like lived alone in an apartment, and like he just walked up the stairs, and he's like, "Robert De Niro, what are you doing here?" And he's like, "Shooting you." And then the guy's like, oh, "I can't believe this happened." <laughs> all I did was take all of everybody's money, and <laughs> this is like why, why is silly. it? In the Godfather movies, every time you see an orange, someone's about to die. Have you, know, have you noticed that? There's always a, there's a thing about oranges. Yeah. Anyone know why that is? Is that just arbitrary and weird ass? I hear it's a new black. Nice. Yay. Nice. He's right on my thumb. God, on I, par with I miss Shrav so much. Yeah. Do you think... You, did, you, did you get it? I don't think so. If you kill this fly, I'm going to fucking freak out. That's the thing. That's, well, if I put my phone down, which episode. I think I can now, I got maybe everything. The, maybe this fly is entertainment's way of saying put your phone down and be in the moment. That would be weird. This is like the, the opening act of uh, Remo Williams, The Adventure Continues. No, see, the fly's not going to come now. The fly's like, this, guy, this guy's activated. <laughs> this guy looks like a stone-cold fly killer. I can land on anybody holding a drink in an iPhone. So, like, what... Yeah, here's a one last thing that I'm just like I'm ready. I, 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 I just like, and then I'm not, I won't be in a bad mood anymore because I just like I just want to get this all out. Fucking medical forms, like when you go to a new doctor or a new dentist or anything, like how lazy are these people? Like, like they, they just they give you like 90 pieces of paper and they all like ask the same questions over and over again like you got to write your social security why why do they why do they get your social security number isn't that an important number isn't that supposed to be something that if someone else has it they can like steal your life and like like send send you to prison in Istanbul or something like 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 it's a it's and it's like everybody like so if anybody just breaks into one shitty dentist office they can have everybody's social security number because they just found that to be a convenient way to sort people's files what, you can't ask and then it's like, and it's everything's just like oh give me your name and your address and your date of birth like 500 times on the same form and you're just like 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 fucking look up you just, it's the same form. It's, the forms are all sloppy and shitty. Like they're all misspelled. Like you can't tell what you're supposed to write where. It's fucking lazy, man. Lazy shit.
we have better technology than that, and they just they can just get away with it because they're like, oh, your tooth hurts, like fill out nine hundred things, and then you just gotta fill it all out, or you can't go get your tooth fixed, and then you're, and you're just like, god damn, dude, I wrote my birth date like five hundred times. You don't know when I was born yet, you know? Fuck you, <laughs> fucking assholes. And then they get this like, this is shit. Uh oh, hey. here comes this fly. Oh. The, the fly's gonna come right back. I know. Devotees of my Instagram will already know this, but the the like, listen to this shit on this form. This is a, the form I have to fill out to get my teeth cleaned. On a scale of one to ten, with ten being the highest rating, how important is your dental health to you? What the fuck? <laughs> so if I put one, are they going to be like, all right, we'll leave? <laughs> or or are they going to be like, like, thank you for being on it? I don't. I, wait, what? If you put five, why do they care? What, clean my teeth. Clean it with all you got. No matter what I say. I don't care how important my... What is, it fucking, what is it, your, uh, your fluoride hose hooked up to my desires to have clean teeth? Was it powered by my fucking ambition? Like, like, like the spirit of dental hygiene? What am I, a Care Bear? With a tooth on his belly? Like, uh, you need my fucking... <laughs> A tooth, tooth, tooth faith to fucking run the thing. What if I have leukemia? Like, guess what? My teeth aren't that important. Still need them clean. I have leukemia. Want to be able to eat a fucking hoagie? Fix my teeth. But one, one, really? I'd like white blood cells more than anything. Is that gonna be okay, Marsha? DDS? Whatever the fuck that stands for. What? How, what would a, a Scottish cat sound like? How would the hell? <laughs> Me. All right. Well, you had to keep pushing. <laughs> Where would you rate your current dental health? Again, what the fuck? Why are you asking me? You're a dentist. Five? I don't know. I came to a dentist. What, oh, ten. See, ten. I, like, yeah. So, like, like, so I can eat shit when I go in there. You got to go to my dentist. They're the coolest, man. A bunch of sc Scandinavian ladies are just cool as shit. And then the third question, where do you want your dental health to be? Oh, oh give me an eight. I don't want to get greedy. <laughs> so fucking dumb. These di that the, the, the is dumb. Chiropractor does the same thing. He's like, he's like, he had me fill out a thing or he's like, oh, how important is you having a good back and all this shit? Like, what are you trying to catch me in a, like, like so that when I say I didn't do my back exercises, you can be like, well, you're not going to get to attend that way and you did say you wanted that. Like... <laughs> Just fix my back. I, I, I learned to, to, to not be honest on those, on those things now because one time on a, on, a, on a TV show a long time ago, I was honest about whether or not I'd ever tried drugs, and I said yes. And then a team of lawyers came from the studio. A major studio came, and I had to fucking deal with a big-ass law, like, kerfuffle and fill out a bunch of shit. And I was like, do you think, like, look, look at the rest of this cast. They're all from Chicago from the 80s. If you don't think they, they all didn't eat their weight and coke every afternoon, you're out of your fucking minds. I was the only guy. I talked to some of these older actors like, oh, no, no, you never say yes on that shit. I was like, oh, terrific. Fucking doctors. Fucking people. You know, they went, I got to go back in for another endoscopy. They, they upsold me on another one. Even though they were like, look, this is fine. I, got, I went I went because I was like, oh, I got... I've been taking Prilosec every day for my heartburn. That can't be good. I just heard it's linked to Alzheimer's. And I went into the thing, and the guy's like, well, here's the thing. Uh, or I told you that. I went to my doctor. I said, uh, I said, hey, man, I've been taking Prilosec for a really long time, and I see on the box it says you're not supposed to take it that much. And, uh, and I heard this uh, study. It says it's linked to Alzheimer's and stuff. And, uh, and he's like, well, what happened? Didn't I refer you to that one guy? I'm like, yeah, you got, remember? You guys like started f uh, obsessing about my lymph nodes and gave me a biopsy and told me I had uh, sarcoidosis. And then I was like, so what's with my heartburn? And, and you were like, I don't know. And, and so I'm like, well, okay, so for real, it's been, okay, like, you know, what about my heartburn? And my doctor goes, he goes, hey, listen, so go back to that guy. But listen, this time when you talk to him, just, just stay on the heartburn topic, you know, like, don't. Don't don't get distracted. I'm like me. It made me so mad. It's like victim blaming, you know. Like I got it bad. Your life's a nightmare. Hashtag heartburn culture. It's just like like he blamed me. Like he implied that like oh you know it's like 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 he's basically saying like oh Dan you know how you could babble when you go to the doctor so maybe you maybe it's your fault that we. 
like, d like I went off on some weird fucking expensive tangent with MRIs, like making sure you don't have lymphatic cancer instead of like telling you about your heartburn. Remember that that sound I make? Is <laughs> <laughs> nothing doing is it, it right gone? now? No, no, yeah. no, sometimes it, it comes it's, back, but, it's, it's, but it was like, that was the thing at the end of it all. I'm like, so what, so is that what made that sound, the sarcoidosis? And they're like, I don't know what makes that sound. Fucking jerks. It's like a Louis bit. You so know, Dan, a, Dan, what? you're not being very Dorothy in the streets about this. You've got to be a little bit more Dorothy in the streets. I just hate everyone. I, just, I, just, like, I feel like I wasted my life trying to impress people and like, 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 all you guys ever did was beat me up and then uh, and make fun of me and then I and then I made up a, a, a enough money to 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 make that stop happening and now and now you got Nazis and 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 and, and, I, and, and I was like I'm like I'm like you can't hey, blame yourself for that hey let's hey that's crazy there's Nazis we should do something about that and then and then and then and then and then you people are like like oh uh, you know communists kill more people than Nazis you fucking twenty year old d dickhead stupid fucking moron. I just say everyone's so fucking stupid. It's, 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 the average IQ is 100. Like, so why did I ever get tricked into caring about dumb people? Like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not a naturally caring person. I should. I could just. I just. I just want. I just want. I just want. I just want to, just want to make little music videos. I, 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 I know. I know. I know. You know. I'm gonna get like foot cancer or something. Like I'm gonna. It's like any day now. I'm gonna get like. I, I, you know. It's like I got my health right now, and I should be happy. And I got everything that everybody wants, and I'm like, I'm, I'm just like pissing around my house, like, like yelling at my dog for eating my underwear, and like, like the big scowl on my face. And there's a dude chasing an alligator out of his living room in Texas, and he's probably laughing about it, like he's having a better life than me. And I'm just, I've been fucking had. I've been had. I've been had by God. I've been had by society. I've been had by morons. I, I was like, like, I just want to watch forensic. The exits are two to the front, two to the side. I'm glad Burbank's on fire. <laughs> deserve it. Hope all your Burbank crops burn. Was there one event like today or yesterday, like like one little small... Lost my AirPods. It was what, that, 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 that was a tipping point? That, yeah, that... that's when I... And then I had a candle in my hand looking for my AirPods and I threw it out the window in, in Burbank. <laughs> Fucking knew it. Yeah, you're, you're oh, you don't think... Oh! Oh! Your power went out too. It's fucking freaky, right? Power went the, out? The, the, the power went out of your, your crib, right? I don't think so. I think Dan's... Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Jeez, lady. okay. There's yes. a way to yell that and a way to, to not that, terrify everybody. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to, I've been meaning to say, I've been meaning, I think that when, when we point out it's 9-11, we should, we should do it like it's the start of a musical, like, it's 9-11. Like that. Well, we shouldn't do it like that. <laughs> Because that that legitimately That's, scared me. We thought it was. We thought it was. No, I thought we got ISIS. Eleven was I thought we got ISIS. I want to circle back and admire their enthusiasm. You know, I gotta, wherever it came from, that's a good thing. That's what this country needs more of. I got a flight coming up on 9/11, and I keep getting these Jesus. reminders. Hey, remember, you're. Why you're, would you do that? I because I, I got a show on the 12th. Well, show up on the 12th. No, but it's, it's in Ontario, Canada. I can't, I can't fly day of. I gotta fly on 9/11 like a terrorist. <laughs> What's the deal with Jon Snow's thumb? You know, it looks like a weird fucking toe. Did no one else notice that? It was like it was trying to be like sentimental and sexy, you know. But it's like he's he has a giant fucking toe on his hand. What I've about, never noticed that. What about his hairline? His weird ass hairline. I, I, you know, I don't know about that. I trust your judgment there, his, but his, I was his, looking his right at his thumb. His looks like the Dow Jones. Uh, you know, I, I, I got a problem with that last episode. What, what, they never showed the fact that the wall just goes into a lake and you could just sail yeah, around that. Yeah, why didn't that. they just walk around? You could have just, just like, like, like just swung around on a rope. Also, like, they could have uh, just like walked in like knee deep water. Well, like, they, they kept saying, "Oh, the, but the dead don't swim." Uh, they well, don't have that's, to swim. That's they have convenient to walk now that we know that the wall goes just to the fucking water's edge, and you could just you know catch a ferry. I mean, it's got to end somewhere, I guess. But I mean, did we think it went all the way around the world? I, the I just thought that they, they kind of... I thought it was on the top of a high cliff or something when it met yeah. the ocean. I mean, I, my, my one beef was like, uh, you know, if, the, if something collapses like that, there's not just going to be like this path. It's like, you, they, they should have shown them like crawling over rubble, being like, God damn. <laughs> this, is like, this is like a quarter of a wall. <laughs> yeah. 
It's kind of what happens when you collapse a wall is you, you have like about a quarter of a wall. Yeah, that it was uh, convenient. They like yeah. cut it off halfway and then it went all the way down. Also, that fucking ice dragon, that dead ice dragon, they got holes all up on those wings. How are you going to fly when you got holes in your wings? That's it, where's the fucking aerodynamic integrity of the flight surface? Well, it's flying with magic, isn't it? I mean, is it magic? Yeah. Well, pro I mean, probably a dragon at least has some sort of magic flotation because they're a heavy thing. You know, you yeah. need a huge wing to well, put that I think that it's a lot. combination of also, magic and like zombieism because the you know the the White Walker people you know they got the they don't got no muscles like some of them got like a whole skeleton leg in there. Yeah, some are missing a butt. <laughs> like, how are you gonna walk around with no butt? But if you can if you can make a, a holy winged dragon fly with your uh, White Walker magic, then why don't you just make a skeleton fly? Just make him like like give him some of that dragon power. This is, this is my flying. favorite song from the movie Dumbo. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they got the holes in the wings. Uh, what was my other fucking beef with that shit? There was some other sort of. I though I I just thought of that today. The big, the big ass dragon the giant the giant cultures had the giant chains mm. and oh, they yeah, zombified the, the yeah, giants. Yeah, but that was a lot of chain, man. Yeah, they were a whole society thriving up north they, of the but, wall. But, but they had them in a cart in the back of the goddamn fucking army. Like, oh like, yeah, they're always ready. They brought all their stuff with them. I okay. Also, how about this? Remember when they bring out the uh, the the, uh, the dead boogans and they're bringing them out to show uh, Cersei and the whole gang that there's there's dead people, and they chop the guy and he's still crawling and kicking ass until they fucking dragon glass him, but then the, the rest of the time they fight him, they go chop and they just fucking go poof, like mm -hmm. like they, now now they now they live a way they live a lot longer when it's a story beat. My my concern with the Cersei plan was that I thought she was gonna look at the zombie and go like yeah i have one for a butler like I, <laughs> I i i'm well aware you can make dead people hang out like i fucking, yeah i didn't think about that like my chauffeur is a fucking mountain of zombie my flesh chauffeur. <laughs> driving miss cersei that would be there's awesome. your spinoff hbo i we should do a show it's where cheaper. i'm a zombie and you're dan Harmon. <laughs> well but there's also a Scottish zombie dog. What would a Scottish zombie dog sound like that? Scottish zombie dog? Yeah. <sighs> Were you not done yet? No. Okay. <laughs> Zombies take their time. <laughs> Brains. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. No. <laughs> Bow wow wains. <laughs> when Scottish zombie dogs. I mean, let's, let's not make it about Scottish. Brain. Uh, <laughs> would they would would they want cat brains or other dog brains? Zombie cat, zombie dogs. Cat brains. <laughs> Brains. Do we have Levy or is Levy still out of town? He's, He's gone. Still out of town. Did he just leave us? Yeah. Get it? Steve, Steve leave us. Yeah. Where is everything? What are you. Well, um, we don't have a screen, so. Yeah, where was the screen? I thought we could have. Jesus Christ. I hope I do day. die. <laughs> I don't care. The screen is up there. Dan, you have so much to be thankful for and happy about. I know. I crashed from that. You should have seen me on Wednesday. It would have been a great podcast. I've been grouchy all day because it's hot, and I made I had dinner with church, and I was being a pain in the butt, and I was just being a grouchy asshole all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to stay in the van. Remember when that awesome blind dude joined us for our show, and then the next week he was like, peace? Because he just secretly didn't even like us. Wait, what? We found out he didn't like us? Well, he didn't even come back. Someone on Reddit saw that like he has a short film made about his life. Well, ooh la la. Yeah. <laughs> you have a long film made about your life. I had to make it myself. <laughs> and I still look shitty in it. Can we go out and... We, we, we've, talked, we, we've talked kind of semi-seriously about going out and doing another uh, Harmon tour, like like maybe like go to Europe or go somewhere fun or 
or maybe like not film it, but just travel around a bunch, or maybe film it again? Are you, are you still up for that? I can't be nailed down. I mean, it sounds like 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 you were when we did that last one. You were kind of going through a little bit of a crisis because you know you got fired off your show. You seem like you're pretty down right now. I think maybe it's time to go out there and hit the road. And I don't. Well, I want to. I want to do the a tour and be happy. But, but well, I want to repeat <laughs> the same process. No, no. We go out and we find happiness, like by by explore, like by exploring, by getting out of your comfort zone. It didn't know. work that time. I, didn't it? Well, uh, it didn't work. I thought you were happy during that. I know. I got faked a lot of that. Yeah, for the movie, right? Yeah. Because I knew that would sell eight copies. <laughs> yeah, were we happy? I can't tell. We were trapped. <laughs> I, I, I avoided everybody. I just kept leaving and going, doing my little disappearing act, and like would go read a book and get away from everybody. I brought work on the road with me. I uh, would like to do a tour again, but I'd like, I, I want to do. I want to be. You know, I want to be free to to enjoy it. Yeah. But I don't. We can't like fly to Europe and then get a tour bus, right? You don't like drive around Europe. Yeah, bands bus. never do that. Oh. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's what, that's that's what you do. You you fly to you know. There's a lot of van travel. Yeah, in Britain. You, yeah, you know, Marilyn Manson doesn't drive around in a van. He's got a fucking sexy tour bus. Okay. I'm saying, here's a pitch. We go out with Marilyn Manson. That's a good idea. Church and I hung out with that guy. He's fucking, he's good fun. He's a big dork. We should get him on the show. He's fucking, he's, he's, he's good fun. He's welcome whenever he wants to come by. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be all pouty about it when he does? No, because I don't care. <laughs> I know as a, he'll come, and then everybody will be like, "Oh, I love Marilyn Manson. I wish he could, would be on the show more often." And I'd be like, "I get it. You don't like me. So just stick it up your ass, you fucking herd of fucking." <laughs> she turned me around. She got me. So like, oh, we did it. Who was that? Yeah. <laughs> Whose laugh was that? That that, that, that that laughter was the unmistakable laughter of somebody who could not take my bad mood seriously. So <laughs> she was just like laughing, like really entertained. Like, like she was just felt she felt a little sad for me, but she was glad she wasn't me. You know, you know, a movie I watched yesterday and it doesn't does not hold up, and I was pretty bummed out. The Spaceballs. The Spaceballs. Space Post is not very good. I mean, it's got a couple of jokes. Uh, either The Incredible or The Amazing Mr. Limpet with Don Knotts. Oh, I saw that it's, was it's, on. It's not that good, man. It's, 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 I, I really wanted to remember that I love that movie. I've never seen it. It's, it, it, it they never explain why he goes, Hoo. like he turns into a fish, but also he has a superpower that he makes the loudest noise in the world. Never explained. He turns into a fish? He, here's how he turns into a fish, Spencer. Don Knotts loves fish while his friend George Stickle is trying to clearly fuck his wife. And they all go out to Coney Island and he loves fish so much and he looks down at the fish and he goes, I wish I were a fish. And he falls into the water and he turns into a fish. Cool. But he's also a fish that wears glasses so we remember it's Don Knotts. And we can tell him apart from the no other animated fish except for a weird lady fish. He almost fucks a fish like in the fucking beginning of the second act. And that's not like he 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 takes to that pretty quickly. Does and he then he makes Yeah, then he then he makes a weird sound and he saves he, he kills all the Nazis and we win World War 2. Well, that how could that possibly be bad? I, my childhood I thought it was awesome, but there's a lot of holes. It sounds there's a lot of holes in Mr. Limbert. Oh boy. But the, uh, the the admiral in that movie is the uh, is the neighbor for Mr. Ed, so that made me happy. Mr. Ed's fucking great. All right, we're good to go, Spencer. Spencer, I, you've told us that you've leveled our characters up because we've achieved such greatness that we are now level three characters. You've achieved yeah. such greatness, yeah. That you're now level three characters. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> we fucking earned it by lighting doors on fire and running away from shit. We uh, we really. It's as much for me as it is for you. <laughs> Meaning what exactly? I, it's more fun. Okay. Does that mean that I are the, are my loadouts updated? Is that what? Oh you yeah. If they're the ones on the right, yeah. Then I mean yes. 
All right, but we're still on the same loadout that we were on the last time because we haven't gone to sleep because yet. Because right? you haven't gone to sleep yet. Okay, I, I, I need a real uh, refresher on this D&D. You guys ready for some D&D right now? No. Are we going to do this? With, without a diarrhea, Junior? Is this just, just, I got it all figured out. Okay. Which is why I got John Carmen. This it doesn't make any sense, but Steve will hate that. Who's Thank John Carmen? Thank you for bearing with me. John Carmen is a Steve Levy-looking person that used to be Justin Rowland's assistant. Is, is he here with us in person tonight? No. It's, it's not for anybody here. It's for Steve Levy. Oh, He's going to get a kick out of that, and I'll be satisfied. Okay. And we will have burned a minute or two. What about our new intern, Sammy? Did you see her? She kind of had a, like a Levy kind of vibe. Oh, she's going to be running this place, too. I'll do it. Thank you. Was that Sammy that said that? Or? No. Oh, no. You can't do it. <laughs> All right. All right. You, uh, you want to give us a recap, Spencer? Yeah. Please. Because I, uh, we had Schraub, and things went kind of weird, and I don't quite I, – I, all I remember is that trousers were pulled down at the very end, and that was our cliffhanger. So, Spencer, if you will, the recap of last week's it's Harmontown. Like the one thing I don't last time on Harmontown, our heroes were uh, – they had just defeated or gotten away from the evil cult right as it collapsed, like the whole church collapsed. Oh boy, it was a disaster. The vampire escaped in the form of a mist, leaving our heroes high and dry in the Priory, where they searched for survivors. There, they became attacked by two little girls who knocked Diarrhea Jr. unconscious. Uh, Chad leapt, leapt into action, grabbing one of the girls, and Carlos leapt into action, smashing one of the little girls in the face. After some conversation, Patchens came back and he needed help. So he took you to the Fells house where the prior was burning down the house and trying to murder the family, but you stopped him. Now you're outside of the burning down house with the prior, he's tied up and you don't know what's going on. It's been a long night. The end. All right. Wait, did you say where? The most important part was the prior. I didn't. Uh, you said we're, we're out, so we're still outside the Fells house with the prior. We're just yeah. right where we left off. Yeah, he's unconscious. He's, I think, tied up. Okay. Well, and and how about the Fells? How are they holding up? They're they're okay. Uh, Tom just had given you a bunch of uh, church relics that he had stolen. But th but they weren't of much value, right? Well, you don't know that because you're not. Uh, okay. Shop. People. Well, let's let's let's. Let's. Uh, I'll secure these relics. I'll take these. Are, are they enough to like small enough to fit in my sack? Yeah, they're small enough to fit in your sack. <laughs> I say to the fells, uh, Tom, M M Maggie, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. <laughs> uh, little fell. Uh, oh. Sorry about your home. Good luck. We, we we may be back to help you out, but. I think the best thing we can do for you is get our colleague away from your little boy while he's still unconscious because he's, he's mixed up. He thinks your kid is possessed. Well, we can handle him. Well, don't handle him. Well. He's only mad because there's been so many shenanigans. We just, you know, attempted murder. House just got burned down. But he was, he was doing it because his church was under attack. I, I, believe me, the people that are responsible for your woes, mostly, if they were here, oh, yeah. they wouldn't be tied up and they wouldn't be, right. they wouldn't be having this conversation. It was self-defense. He feared for his life. Uh, well, okay. Touchy. <laughs> I'm not saying he did a good thing. I'm not saying like he doesn't deserve retribution. I'm just saying like when he wakes up, I'm gonna, I would like him to be at the church because I still want to talk to him about stuff, and I don't want him to kill your kid, and I don't want you to kill wait, him before wait, that. Hey, uh, uh, Carlos, do you think there's a chance that maybe he's pissed off because Tom just admitted that he stole all of these relics from the church? Maybe he's mad about what these relics mean to the church. Yeah, why would I be mad about the fact someone was trying to murder my family and burn down my house? That doesn't make any sense. Why did you steal these relics in the first place? Because we're poor. I haven't been producing stuff with my farm. The church is supposed to help. They don't do shit. Who are you going to be selling these relics to? Where's the market for church relics? Well, there was a merchant who was coming by, but that plot thread didn't get explored. <laughs> Tom. 
Tom, it, we're, he should have been here weeks ago. Like I said at the top, Tom, we're we're gonna take the prior away, take him to the church, so when he wakes up, he's your kid can be safe, and uh, we'll then, send we'll send whatever help we can. And then I'll just go back to terrorizing the town and you know being a dick. I, I, look, no, he won't. He's going to be in big trouble. He lost his whole church. He's, believe me, he's, he's, he's going to be the Tom Fell of Priors. Great. I examine the Priors, like, body and clothes to see if he's holding anything that, like, that might be of value or interest or... Mm, he has the holy symbol of the church, just like a lot of the clerics have. Right. He doesn't have any, like, ID or any money on him. Like, uh, he's not re really wearing very much clothes. He's kind of, like, hastily dressed. It's not, like you know, his, his formal attire in any sense. So it's kind of like he just came out at night with a sword. You got a wheelbarrow or something, Tom? Yeah, sure. Let's put uh, the prior in a wheelbarrow. Okay. And uh, cart him back to the church. Yeah, take, the, take those relics, take the prior back. We'll do a debrief. Yeah, I like that. I guess we'll follow you. The, the Fell family said yeah. that? Yeah. No, you guys got a house to reconstruct. Why would you want to follow us if the guy wants to kill your kid? Uh, you know, the church, it's like it shelters people in need, theoretically. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's all go along. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Fair enough, Tom. All right. Um, I, I, uh, I, I take some water out of my little water skin thing, and I splash it on the prior's face, and I wake him up. We should talk to this guy, right, and see if he's cooled out a little bit now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. All right, you wake him up. Uh, uh, what? Hey, we got a we got a job to do. There's what's, evil afoot. What's the, what's the job? What's your first item on your to do list? Kill the unclean. <laughs> right, but the unclean of like they left. No, oh, they're right here yeah, among us. The Fell family, they're just dirty, grubby people. They're not, they're not the real problem. Your church was infiltrated by horrible evil. I don't know what you're talking about, and you're dumb. <laughs> Why do you think these, uh, do you think the whole family is unclean, or just... W yeah, they're protecting a fucking demon child. But we released that demon. The demon was, was, was expelled. That sounds like lies that a demon might say. So now the demon's okay. in us? I don't know. This guy's just a fucking Looney Tunes. Right? I don't know what to believe. You're just saying that you got rid of a demon when I could see it clearly inside this child? You can see it. Yeah, he's evil. Look at him. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> well, if, if you're such a hotshot cleric, why didn't, you're, are you a cleric? No, you're, not by trade. You're, but you're, but, you're, but you're, a, you're a holy man. Yes. Oh, then why don't you uh, show us something? What would you suggest doing to get this demon out of this child? I think the sword's in the house. You want to kill the child? Yeah. That's what the Church of the Silver Flame does. We purge evil. By you, killing children? You don't, you know, bathe it into cleanly, like into goodness. You kill it. You burn it. You're just choosing to not believe us when we tell you that we've already dealt with this situation when you weren't here. You're saying that you're confused, but at the same time you're saying that you know exactly what's going on. Right. You're outsiders who came snooping into our business. You don't know our ways or what's going on. You don't know the score. I, I'm saying that there's evil afoot. I see it. I guarantee you one thing. We didn't cause your problems here in this town. You were on a track to destruction. You had vampires in your basement. The Fells had a demon that we released. Uh, uh, you are late to the ball game, and you're hogging all the hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I high five Carlos for that. <laughs> it, by the church bylaws, I am invoking emergency mutiny. Uh, r r rule number three, subsection seven. If the prior of a church is uh, 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 demonstrating a, an inability to uh, serve his office. He will be bound and put in a wheelbarrow, and, uh, <laughs> and the next highest ranking church official in the vicinity will take over his duties until further notice. It's called the 25th Amendment. Oh. Well, who's the next ranking church official? That would be me. Oh. Well, show me your... How do we know that's true? Well, I mean... I mean all that bylaw sounded improvised. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a prior, do you know a, 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 a church uh, member of your congregation named Arden? Yeah. Do you know that she's a vampire mist right now? 
What? Yeah, she's a vampire that was doing crazy blood magic down in your basement in the sanctuary, and we went down there, kicked a bunch of ass, but she, you know, weenied out by turning into a mist, like a like a like a piece of vampire shit, and she boned out, and now we're looking for her. So you've been harboring vampire mist ladies the whole time, and like like, like what's her deal? That's some fucking conspiracy bullshit. Vampires and demons have nothing to do with each other. Why would there be a demon possessed child if there was vampires in the church? That's what we're trying to find out. Oh, okay. All we know is you run a bad church, brother. <laughs> like you ain't you ain't on your shit. You called me dumb. You're dumb. You guys are you, you guys are peeing in barrels and keeping it. Yeah. That's... Yeah, we found your pee barrels. Man. We found your pee barrels. <laughs> Guess what? Vampires are throwing them at people. Like 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 our friend diarrhea got covered in pee. That stuff's important. Why do you keep the pee? It's for laundry. You wash your clothes in pee? Well, kind of, yeah. So then how do you know when you pee your pants? <laughs> what happens when you pee your pants? You go, great, now I don't have to do laundry? <laughs> no, it's not that simple. It's a process. It's a multi-step process. Okay. I'll well, show you how to do it. Uh, you can, you can oh, accept yeah. that much nuance in piss clothes, but you can't accept that maybe we know what we're talking about a little bit with the demon child. I'm starting to accept that that may be the case, but I'm still confused about this whole vampire Do you know that the sanctuary thing? was exploded by a giant explosion and, and, and the whole thing is rubble now? What? I'm wheeling you back to your church. I, yeah, that's what's happening. Come on, fell family. We, we all go back to the church. All right. Yeah, no, you had been. Um, yeah. You're there at the church. What do you do? Uh, Patchens is there. Also, he was with you the whole time. <laughs> I'm, I want to. I'm going to keep wheeling the prior to the to the to the hatch where the you know the site of egress from the uh, room. Okay. You can't get there. With the wheelbarrow because it's like it's like a ruined wreck, like it's right. a pile of yeah. blocks. It became stuff. a quarter of a wall. You can you can get to that that area, but not like you have to climb. And I'm gonna clamber. stand the prior up. Let's undo his feet, but not his hands, and uh, walk him over the rubble to right. the site. You do that. You Where understand why I have your hands bound still, sir? Yeah. You do? No. You're threatening the life of an innocent child. Right. I'm not well, doing it because I think that you're a, a, you know, a bad person. I'm trying to protect the innocent. Well, keep an eye on that kid. <laughs> Everyone keeps an eye on kids. By default, they're adorable. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking all going to jail. I don't know how I got this reputation. <laughs> you keep talking about beautiful, sexy children. <laughs> and wanting to smash them. All right. So yeah, where are you yeah. headed? To the hatch? Yeah. All right. You do that. To the you, you open the secret door, and he's like, yeah, this is the, this is the piss basement. Yeah. yeah we know well, about this go place. Go down there. Okay. My hands are tied. Well, I'll drop you down. That sounds painful. I'll, 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 you go down first. I'll, I'll kind of hand him down to you down the ladder. All right. If we undo your hands, are you going to be a bad person? Uh, no. Are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I, I'm telling you. I, I, I sense bad question. <laughs> Sir. It's a bad question, yeah. If I untie your hands and you, and you try to harm any of the fellow family, I have, I'm telling you right now, I have no choice but to intercede, like, with uh, uh, extreme prejudice. Okay. Okay? How extreme? <laughs> I undo his hands. All right. He, uh, he like, he like, you know, if he feels his wrists and then he slaps you. Slaps me? Yeah. I take it. Yeah. That's what, like, that's what he didn't want to happen. Like, he was trying to bait you. Right. Yeah. I say, see? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can take a slap, can't I? <laughs> I, I I go up and I slap Carlos just to, just to prove that point. <laughs> He's really confused. He's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I like getting slapped. <laughs> Brings me closer to the silver flame. I give him like a Steve McQueen like Ali McGraw slap in the getaway. Right? The, the, the the forehand backhand forehand one. Who just... do you hit? Carlos, oh, okay. I'm just showing how much he likes to get slapped. I'm showing those guys. He's like the Hulk. Like you, the more you slap him, the more he focuses his his rage. All right, he's he's uh, he's growing unnerved. 
All right. Now climb down that ladder and check out your piss basement. All right. <laughs> he climbs down there. It's all it's all just collapsed. There's like you know. Yeah, well, it's not like a, a fucking god eraser. I, 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 like, 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 so some shit collapsed. There's still evidence of horrific demonic bullshit. Can we still see the blood all over the table and the altar kind of thing? Yeah, well, not so much. All that stuff has collapsed. Are, like are the there sanctuary has fallen off. Are there the corpses of those uh, of those uh, blood boogans? You can see bits of corpses, like a couple limbs, like coming out of the wreckage and stuff. Yeah, and I, I walk over and I uh, and I take one of the like like body parts of a clearly mutated thing and show right. this to the prior. All right. It just like it just like sloughs off of the body, like it's not really heavily attached. Yeah. And I go, look at this. Does this look normal to you? Is this regular church basement P basement kind of activities? No. <laughs> you feel you you probably feel pretty stupid now telling us that we don't know what we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I take that book that says how to, what to do when your church is under attack. All right. I said, did you even read this? Yeah, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, shit. I don't think you did, though, but you could lie. That's fine. <laughs> That's me, the GM, saying that. When I opened it, the binding cracked like fucking thunder. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> okay, you're right. It is. Okay. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would I lie? Yeah. I don't know. I just think it's fucked up that you read this book and then let your church be under attack. I was trying to help. Yeah. That's fine. And failure's fine, too. But then when you find out you failed, you don't take it out on neighbor kids. That's probably true. Prior, do you know? Oh, oh, by the way, where do we leave Stiff and Wang, the little girls? Are they, are they still with us? They're, yeah, they were with you, too. So they're here, too. Okay. Uh, d d prior, do you know these little children? Yeah, yeah. Uh do you know where they came from? Because like, they, they don't seem to have any memory of their families or their, you know, their whereabouts. No, nah, they were found on the church doorstep. And do you know Arden? Yeah. Do you know where we could find? Like, where does she live? Where is she from? Well, she stayed at the church. We don't know where she's from. Convenient. She was from the church, you know, like you guys. Where do you think all your church people are? Uh, dead. <laughs> what, do you think they're and under rubble? Yeah. Well, okay, so... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm kind of talking in circles here. <laughs> all right, all right. So we've reached a point of agreement here. You agree that your church got infiltrated by uh, Boogans. Yeah, it's confusing. We need to find Arden. Shit. Well, what, do you, what should I do? Tell us about her? Hmm. She liked the church, and she liked talking to people, and she liked prayer. She liked fire. Ooh. <laughs> That's normal for the church. Right. She never said where she was from? No. We never really asked. We're not very social. <laughs> Why are people in your church turning into vampires and doing cow blood magic in, 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 a, in a pee room? I don't know. It's possible, I suppose, that she was a vampire before she came to our church. I think we need to notify the higher-ups. Yeah, no. I mean, why, didn't you get sent here on some sort of mission that would then involve you, like, reporting back to the people that sent you on a mission? Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of putting it off. Mm. But I, think, I think we need to fill them in. Yeah, yeah. How Good do call. we, uh, table talk, how do we go about uh, reconnecting with our higher ups? Um, well, you could, like, send them a letter, or you could, like, go in person. I say we take. The prior and patchens and go back with these relics and some evidence of what we've done and, and touch base back home. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> we, we still got our wagon with those horses. How, how, has this been like a day, two days? How long, how long have you been here in this town? Um, uh, I think two days. Okay, I hope our horses aren't dead because we, yeah. we just kind of left them in, like, behind that barn. Right, the barn, yeah, the right. barn wasn't attached to the fill house. It was just nearby, okay. so it's probably not. All right, far. we we take the, we, we take the prior, we take patches, and we head back to the uh, to the church to to to, uh, to touch base. Should we take Stiff and Wang? I mean, I know what they're your answer is going to be. They're orphans. <laughs> okay, Gross. we take we take the children too. We so take we Stiff and Wang. I mean, they're church orphans, right? Yeah, yeah. Prior's yeah. yeah. got a lot of cleaning up to do. 
when he well, gets you're gonna take we're him. taking him. Yeah. Yeah. The fells have a lot of cleaning up to do. We'll leave them be. They'll be safe now. Should we take Patchens or should we leave Patchens to clean up or should we take Patchens with us? <laughs> he was Patchens. Okay, Patchens and the prior stiff, stiff wang. wang. Let's everybody get into no the fells. No fells. Fells. All right. Take so, any material you need from the church in re the reparation of your home. We think we're going to make it into a community center. <laughs> Not a reference, just like, you know, the building. It's interesting. A secular kind of uh, approach. Obviously, religion has failed this community. Right. Perhaps civic mindedness can take its place. Perhaps. I like your style, Perhaps. Tom Fell. So. Yeah, man. I think the next time I see you, you're going to be called Tom Rose. <laughs> oh, not because not no. you're Jewish, but the, the, like Rose, like he rose up. Right, right. Like. All right, away, back to, the, uh, to, to our church elders. All right. Well, that's, we're so, so, so bad at this. <laughs> so you're standing. I can't believe we leveled up in the last one. All we did was, was yell a lot and then pull a guy's pants down. Yeah, I, th I think if you're level one and you hit a little girl in the face, you just jumped to level two. I think that's <laughs> no, we, we started at level two. He, he gave us oh, level right. two. So now we're level three. All right. Well, I yeah. hit her pretty hard. Yeah. So uh, you're... <laughs> You're still in the church. You're still in the church, and um, what do you call it? Diarrhea Junior. He looks bad. He looks not good. He's like sweaty. Oh ba boy, he looks really sick. Uh oh. He falls down. Uh, all right. Um, I uh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna shit. Well, I don't. I still have the same old spells. I can't detect. Right. Yeah. Do you want to? Hey, hey uh, Pryor. You said you had eyes that can see this shit. Is he succumbing to uh, the pneumonia, or did Arden the Mist Vampire go into him? I think that and other things. <laughs> I think he might have a demon in him. He also looks like he has mummy rot. DJ's got mummy rot. And a demon and vampire mist. Oh no. Jesus. That's my prognosis. Do you have any spells, uh, Carlos, to help us out or to ch check them out? No, I mean, I, uh, I, I, would, I would be using the, um, the offensive loadout from when I was level two, and I, all I have left is. Like, I, I, I use like perception on him to see like, what's, what's going on with him. O 11. Oh man. Um, you can see that, like, the pa like his skin is pale in a trackable pattern, and it seems to like go underneath his clothes. Oh, fuck. Like, uh, it's like like a gradient, you know? Like he's getting progressively more pale underneath his clothes. All right, let's get his clothes off. Like, just, yeah. like we can attend to this. This is an emergency. We can't. All right. You see, you see the you you rip off his shirt and you see on his chest there's like a keyhole and it's like the source of all this paleness. It's like oh the co the hole above his heart. Yeah. Oh, I remember something about this. It from, happened from our backstory. Um, I look. Is one of those relics I took a key? Nope. Shit. Uh. So he. He's got. He's slowly dying, or slowly being taken over by something. Um, and Pat, we, yeah. Right. And we well, should, who are you asking? You, Spencer. No, I'm not telling you anything. Oh, I'm. I, I, I'm using my perception and watching what's happening here. Okay. Is my knowledge. Of he our, just seems sick. I have the knowledge. You know, Arcana. I got it. He. Uh, he seems like he has got some sort of crazy magical, like some sort of curse-related magic, like bad. Bad juju magic. We got to get him back to the church then, probably. This is like, like, right? Right. This isn't. This isn't like something that happened to him. This is something that's part of his. I remember. I, I have a past with him. I remember something about this keyhole in his chest. You don't remember very much about it, but yes. But, right. he, but, but the reason why he's unconscious, he got knocked out by one of the girls, right? One, one, like, well, he came back. He he got reconscious after. Oh, that. so he, oh, so he's he's been conscious now. He's just starting to look sick. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get to the wagon and just get him back. Let's we get him home. Yeah. Anything for him? Absolutely. All right, and we're all we're all coming, right? We should maybe get a bigger wagon. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, do you have a, Do you have another wagon here, Prior? I'll find one. Okay, great. Or uh, Stiff and Wang, it could be adopted by the Fells, and then we don't need a bigger wagon. 
I mean, that's going to be a lot of paperwork. <laughs> okay, we, we, we take the wagon by the, the Fells' house and say, hey, do you guys want to take care of these little girls? The Fells aren't there. They, wait, where are they? At the church. They're, they're with us. Yep. We ask them right now. Okay. Hey, do you want to take care of these little girls? We, we, got, we, we, we don't have room in the wagon. Sure, why not? Let's just live at the church that we're calling the community center now. Fantastic. All right, we got church business. Stiff, Wang, Tom, Bonnie, uh, Gary. Cliff. Cliff. Uh, it's been real. It's been fun. But it hasn't been real fun. <laughs> <laughs> and we pop, we pop in our wagon with Patchens and the Prior. And, uh, and I take one of those, I take that one, like, like the mutant boogan arm that I took off. I keep that as evidence to show the people back home what's going right. on. All right. That's yeah. a good call. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. You're traveling. You're traveling back to the home office. Oh, man. It's mostly uneventful until nightfall. It's been, uh, let's say it's been a, tra a day of travel, so you can reset your spells if you want. We uh, sleep and reset our spells. All right. All right. I'm going to pick a loadout. Pick a load out, baby. Pick a load Pick out. Pick a load for Pick me. Pick a load for free. Pick a load out, Carlos. And put your spell right on, right on. You put the spell right on me. <laughs> but at night, while you're making camp and sleeping and being, like, blissfully unaware and stuff, attacks happen. Oh, you shit. get attacked. What? Oh, boy. It's bad news. Um, you're awoken by the sounds of, of, of screaming. It's the prior. He's screaming. There's, uh, there's, they look like banditos. They're, uh, they're surrounding your encampment. I have picked the, um, the offensive loadout, just so you know. Yeah. Banditos. All right. Wow, wow, there's banditos and me with my offensive loadout. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> you look like people who have lost your way spiritually. Sure, yeah. That can be dangerous. Yeah, for, for everybody involved. We have nothing to offer you. Why don't you just go on your way? We are but simple men of the cloth of the church, the silver flame. Oh, you got something all right. Yeah? They look at you with like a knowing look. I, I give him a, a knowing look back. I say, yeah, 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 we do got something. We got a fucking uh, fist to put up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, they got weapons, and you guys don't have weapons right now because, like, you're asleep. So do you want to, like, grab your weapons? Or what yes, do you want I, I, I always sleep near my shillelagh. So you I aren't near your weapons, but oh. it's like, you know, now we're in, like, combat time kind of. So I run to my weapons. Oh, of course. Yeah. Who would all right, well, they attack you guys then. All right, well, I think they're going to regret this. <laughs> All right, well, they might. So the ones in back, you see about six of them. That's all you can see, but, you know, you're just waking up, and it's hard to say. They, they shoot arrows, but most of the arrows miss. Only one hits, uh, hits Chad for six damage. God damn it. You take an arrow in the shoulder. All right. Um, I'm using my, let's see, I'm going to use my defensive loadout on this one, and I, and I cure my light wounds. Okay. Sorry, everybody. You cure five wounds. How All much right. damage do you take? Six. Six? Oh, yeah. boy. You're almost back to full health. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. I, t I take the arrow out, and I, uh... And I put it between my fingers and make it like a middle finger and hold it up like that. <laughs> you do that. And I just fucking hold that like like that's that like that was enough for now. <laughs> Is it my turn? No, it's okay. uh, Dan. Uh, I know your name. Can I ask you a quick question about those those the the, the my ability to convert any uh, uh, spell of a certain level to a healing spell? Mm -hmm. um, does that so then does that also um, count for level two spells? Yeah. Okay, so it keeps going beyond that too. Like, yeah. To, that's why I don't have heal spells. Right. Because, I don't. Yeah. I right. don't put them in any of the loadouts for that reason. And so it's level one and level two spells that I that that can be turned into that. Okay. Correct. Well, gentlemen, 
uh, I gotta tell you, uh, there, uh, salvation takes many forms, <laughs> and uh, it's about to take the form of a giant ant. <laughs> Summon giant ant. All right. Yeah. Is that a level one or a level two giant? Level ant? two. Okay. How many level ones and twos do we get? Three. Three, Three apiece. <laughs> oh. I, this is, that's not a full question. <laughs> I mean, how many level ones do I get a do, do I get a day? Three. Okay, great. And level twos? Two. Okay. All right. You summon a giant amp. It, it looks really frenzied and angry. Its its antenna are waving. Oh boy. What do you want it to do? Attack the banditos. That makes sense. All right. It misses. <laughs> it lunges at the bandito, but he rolls out of the out of the way. Um, the banditos, they, they continue their onslaught. They, they close in, and they seem to be closing in, surrounding Patchens and uh, Diarrhea, who are sleeping nearby each other and both seemingly unconscious even during the melee. Hey, leave them alone. They don't. <laughs> you guys don't have some kind of bandito code? What? You don't have a bandito code? I don't know what you're talking about, Stab. <laughs> you're, All right. You're, get, you're talking to, a, to banditos with stabbing weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Diarrhea and Patchens get stabbed. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Diarrhea takes much worse of a stabbing, oh, uh, no. and Patchens screams and bolts up upright awake. This is awful. <laughs> oh, yeah. When's it my turn? Um, now it's the prior's turn. Is he tied up? No, no. He's, no, uh, he's, 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 he's part, he's part <laughs> no, of the gang he, now. He runs away. What fucking... <laughs> we don't need that guy. The ship sails faster without the anchor, Carlos. All right. It's Jeff's turn now. Uh, is, is there vegetation where, where, where we are right oh, now? Oh, yeah. Well, then, guess what, everybody? Entangle! Oh, man, it's great. All the plants nearby, they start coming alive, wriggling and waving and entangling. They're, they're grabbing the banditos. Oh, man, how many do they grab? One, two, three. All right. They get three of the banditos. They're caught fast. The rest of them are, like, just hacking at the bushes and trying to stay from being entangled. They're kind of like, they're kind of like being, uh what do you call it? Occupied by the by the vines and stuff. It's, yeah, it's taking their attentions away. All right, Carlos, I got him distracted by plant life. Sounds like a good time to inflict light wounds. <laughs> Can I make a pitch? Inflict heavy wounds. Well, I I don't know how to do that yet. I mean, you have a weapon. I'm still working my way up the bridge. Okay. Um, All right. Starting light. All right. You grab one of the guy's arms, his sword-wielding arm, and it shrivels and skinny-fies like it's, it's withering before your very eyes, like a big part of his body just kind of shrivels up like a, like a husk. Mm. <laughs> nice. And that was a light wound. <laughs> All right. The banditos do stuff. What about my aunt, though, not to be too much of a No, jerk. that's a good call. I forgot. He misses again. <laughs> That's, sorry. I'm going to switch dice, how about? I feel like I accidentally summoned like a, a regular aunt. Like, <laughs> like, like a woman that married my uncle. Just s swinging a rolling pin. All right. The withered, the withered uh, guy, he starts making, making an exit. He's, like, trying to, trying to escape. The other, the other two, they kind of, or not the other two, the other banditos, they kind of they split their forces. One of them continues, or half of them, like, continued. They're, like, grabbing patchens and stabbing them and, like, dragging Jesus. them away. And um, the other ones are, are turning to fight you guys. These guys are such bad people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so they don't actually hurt Patchens as far as you can tell. But they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to drag them off? Yeah, they are. But they are stabbing at you guys. Oh, fucking A. They only hit you. They hit you each for two damage. Okay. 
Yeah. So that's their turns. The prior is still gone. A right, quick question, because this is a new, sp new spell for me. If I want to cast bark skin and harden my skin, is, this, is that something I do prior to an attack or during an attack? Well, it's a standard action, so you cast it whenever, but it lasts for like a minute, so probably do it before. Okay, I, I don't do it. I just, I, I've yeah. never seen that before. All right. Oh. Wait, I got tree shape. I turn into a tree? Yeah. <laughs> that would be helpful. I'm not doing that. That's, I, I, that's just good, good to have in the bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm just attacking nearest bandito with Morningstar. Yeah, I think it's I, Jeff's well, turn. Oh, okay. but yeah, hey, 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 hey Carlos, uh, start hitting people like they're little girls. Remember <laughs> that time you smashed that little girl in the face? We need to be on the same side. I this couldn't be more <laughs> metaphorical. <sighs> who cares who voted for Bernie and who voted for Hillary? Let's just beat the banditos. Wow, with bad hombres. Jeff, what are you doing? Um, I vote for Bernie. Firebolt! <laughs> Firebolt would have won! Feel the burn! <laughs> <laughs> All right. You catch one of them on fire. He's, he's got his, his, his fire. He's, he's on fire. He's running around on fire. Yeah. Oh, boy. We should, that, we should have just ended on that laugh. No, we gotta kick. We gotta beat these banditos. Yeah, we got we got one more minute or two. So, did, uh, Carlos, l lay it down. Morning star. On the guy who stabbed Patchens. All right, you miss. <laughs> <laughs> but that makes it my aunt's turn, and his victories will be mine. What is he gonna do? The aunt. Yeah. He's just attacking banditos. I mean, he's an ant. <laughs> All right. How big is this ant, by the way? What, what, what are we talking? It's a uh, giant ant. Yeah. So could be like big as a shoe. <laughs> could be like the size of a bumblebee. <laughs> so, as, as big as a shoe? It doesn't take much for an ant to be yeah, giant, yeah. does it? Right. How big an ant are we looking at right now? I don't know. Let's say like the size of uh, a, Doberman. a mule. Whoa, shit. That's a big ant. That's a big ant. It's thrashing around. All right. Get him, Muley. It misses again. <laughs> he misses again. So he misses sorry. again. Every Man. time, like, what are the odds of rolling the same number on a dice three times? Well, it's eight, 80,000. Who cares? All right. Well, now it's my turn. All right. The banditos, they stab Patchens a couple more times. She <laughs> don't patch them. They're just so cowardly. She, she just... You see, you see the ones that don't stab him. They take, they take everything. They take his clothes off. They like strip his clothes off, and then they like strip him down naked. Poor Patchens. All he did was back us up. You know, like I just feel awful for him. All right, those guys, their task completed. They bone out. What? They just stole Patchens and left. Well, no, they leave him bleeding on the floor. They took his clothes. Yeah. So these are just. Just really just banditos who needed clothes. Did they get the relics? No, no. Not Did yet. Did you get clothes? Yeah. There's still, there's still a couple that are fighting you, but those ones that were going after Patchens are kind of boning out. We could have had some kind of drive for you guys. We're a church and you're stealing clothes from us. It's like robbing the Toys for Tots barrel. It's... Four tots already. <laughs> All right, I attack with my morning star. All right. Someone. Oh, man. You blast him in the head, and he goes down. You see his, his, his helmet is, uh, is bent. He's wearing a helmet, this guy. He's the only one. I walk over, and I take his clothes off, and I put him on patches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's hear it for Spencer Critton and everybody. Let's hear it for Kevin Day, Sarah Hill, Harry Foster on sound tonight, Church. Who else we got? Chris Bolliff. Did I already say Kevin Day? I'm Jeff Davis, your comptroller. Thank everybody here at Harmon Towns. Thank you so much for coming. Your mayor, Mr. Dan Harmon. <laughs> Megan Bandito. Get any of that? It's
神姑的秀。<笑>